In this video, we are going to see the memory system organization and architecture introduction. The size of the memory is determined by the addressing scheme. So here addressing scheme will be in two different ways that is big Indian and little Indian. The 16 bit computer generates 16 bit addresses that is 2 power 16 is equal to 64k memory locations will be possible. Most computers are byte addressable. It could be big Indian or little Indian. So byte storage methods we will say two types that is big Indian and little Indian. In big Indian MSB is assigned to the least address and LSB is assigned to the highest address. So if you consider an hexadecimal value DEAD BEEF then base address plus 0 that is in the given base address the MSB value that is DE by it means 8 bits hexadecimal bit takes 4 bits so DE takes 8 bits so DE will be stored in base address then base address will be incremented to store AD value then base address plus 2 stores BE base address plus 3 holds BF this is in the case of big Indian storage method. In the case of little Indian, MSB will be assigned in the highest address and LSB to the least address. So in this case, DE will be stored in the highest address and EF will be stored in the least address. Least address means base address. So EF will be stored in the base address. BE is stored in the base address plus 1. AD is stored in the base address plus 2, DE is stored in, in the base address plus 3. So this is nothing but little Indian. So to remember these, it is very easy in the case of little Indian, remember triple L that is L L L. First L stands for little Indian, second L stands for LSB, third L stands for least address. In little Indian, LSB is assigned to least address. So when LSB is assigned to least address, obviously we can understand that MSB is assigned to highest address and the reverse is the case of big Indian. Connection of the memory to the processor. So here this side we are having a processor with two resistors MAR and MDR. For simplicity we are showing only two resistors here other than this many things will be there in the processor. The memory is up to 2 power k addressable locations word length is equal to n bits so when we say 2 power k addressable locations are there we can say that the address bus size is k bit when word length is equal to n bits we can say that data bus size is n bits so MAR will hold the memory address and MDR holds the content which is fetched from the memory the control lines is used to give signals to the memory and the processor whether read operation or write operation is to be performed and MFC is memory function completed control signal. Data transfer between the memory and the processor takes place through use of two processor resistors. Just now what we have explained using the figure we have given in the slide here. MAR memory address register, MDR memory data register size of MAR because it holds the address it will be able to decide the address bus size size of MDR decides the data bus size so address bus size and MAR resistor size will be same data bus size and MDR size will be same to perform the read operation load required address into MAR what, whatever the data we want to read from a particular address the corresponding address is loaded into MAR. Set read write line to 1. Memory places the data on the data bus. So from the corresponding address, memory takes the data and places onto the data bus. Then enable MFC that is memory function completed signal. So once the memory places the data onto the data bus, MFC signal is enabled by the memory. Then processor will understand that data is loaded onto the data bus and it can copy into the MDR register. This is how the read operation will be performed. In the case of write operation, 
load the address of this location into the memory that is in, into which address you want to save the data that address you are going to give into the mar and the data what you want to store in the memory will be loaded into mdr then set r w dash line to 0 so when r w dash line is 1 we are performing read operation when it is 0 we are performing write operation then comes to performance measures first measure is memory access time this is nothing but the time that elapses between the initiation of an operation and the completion of that operation so the time at which the request is given to perform a particular operation and the time at which it completed is nothing but memory access time so we can say that the time between the read and the mfc signals is nothing but memory access time memory cycle time the minimum time delay required between the initiation of two successive memory operations we can say two successive read operations or one read and one write operation or two successive write operations also latency the amount of time it takes to transfer a word or data to or from the memory so this is nothing but what we say as a latency in this case in block transfers means n number of words to be transferred at a time then it is the time taken to transfer the first word of data bandwidth number of bits or bytes that can be transferred in one second is nothing but referred as bandwidth now memory hierarchy in memory hierarchy in the in the processor will have resistors primary catch l1 so this is nothing but on chip memory we say and then secondary catch l2 main memory and then secondary memory if we consider different parameters like uh, size speed and cost then size is increasing as we go from top to bottom in the memory hierarchy <coughs> and speed is increasing when we come from bottom to top in the memory hierarchy similarly cost also so we can say that the speed in the case of resistors primary cache will be high when compared to the secondary memory obviously the cost also is high in this case when compared to the secondary memory the amount of data that we can store in the resistors or primary cache will be less when compared to the secondary memory that is the size of the memory is decreasing as we go from top to bottom in the case of memory hierarchy so these two that is resistors and primary catch l1 are always on the processor chip so we can also refer them as on chip memory catch usually uses sram for development so faster but more expensive and main memory uses DRAM cheap enough to be large actually. Thank you.